Hello everyone, I'm Santeo Santeo and today I'm going to be testing Halo 5 Forge on the GeForce GTX 750 Ti. For PS monitoring I won't be using Cam this time since this is a universal Windows application so Cam is not working with it. But I already notified the developers about this so they should be working on a fix. Anyway, I'll do only 1080p since I have 4 GPUs to test and I don't have enough time to do everything since tomorrow some games are releasing and well i'll just give you some commentary across this video just i mean less than three minutes so on 1080p i'm using some stuff lowered so the um, the maximum texture size will be on 2048 then the frame rate limit we can only cap the game at 30 fps or 60 fps and i'm using vsync you might ask why well that's because if i don't use vsync i cannot see the frame rate for some reason it's that way with some universal windows application games so i'm sorry guys but that's the only way to see the frame rate for me then at the end of the video you can check the description below to see that i'll show you the gpu usage and the cpu usage using cam so we can see how the game is managing all our resources but yeah the fx quality and the foliage is also lowered so keep that in mind so what i for what i tested on a couple stages the stage that gave me more issues with the frame rate was a stage called overgrowth it's a stage that has water foliage all that kind of stuff and that killed the frame rate for me it drops to 30 a couple times but i could see that those drops mostly were due to the use of b-sync so i mean the drops weren't to 30 fps if without b-sync you are actually dropping to 45 fps or something of the sort so you're almost between 45 and 60 fps for the most part if you want a better frame rate you just lower the shadows turn off anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion and you should get a pretty nice boost if you turn foliage down too. You can see when I tweak the settings in the description below to get a couple extra frames. But the game runs fine, I mean it's playable on most stages. There are a couple like overgrowth that kill the frame rate due to the foliage and water reflections. But so far the game is playable. When you, If you launch the game it will say that you are below the minimum requirements. Well, that's due to the graphics card for the most part, so don't worry, the game will play anyway. You'll need the Windows Anniversary Update in order to play this game. You can get it on the Windows 10 Store, and on 900p you get like a 10 FPS boost, so it's worth to lower the resolution too. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye. Seconds to railgun. Railgun ready. <laughs> 